take a look at one of these, Bruce. Okay. Pull. A lot of folks ask me, and uh, Tommy, John, when we're shooting together, uh, what makes us so consistent when we shoot. And what we do different than most folks is we're a whole lot more consistent before we ever call pull for the target. And what I mean by that was what we spoke about earlier, eyes and hands, knowing where we're gonna look for the bird and where we're gonna start our hands. And uh, them two things there, like I said, very, very important. It's gonna sound like a lot of stuff to remember, but it'll become routine to you. Where to look, establishing the line of the target so we know where our hands need to start because we don't want a lot of move up into the target. We want to work as close to the line as we possibly can without having a, a whole lot of up move. Well, what did you see when you looked at that uh, show pair, or show bird? What did you see? Okay, I established over here where the bird come out of where the target was thrown from, a branch. Now I know where to go with my eyes every time and I noticed a dark spot in the trees out here that the bird flew under. Now, if I change either one of those, I gotta look in the same place every time and start my hands in the same place every time. Because what I wanna do, if I've got three of these targets or four of these targets in a sequence, I wanna shoot three or four targets exactly the same way if I can. And if I change where I look or if I change where my hands are, I'm gonna change the timing of that target and when everything happens at my hands. Okay, now that spot that you said where it went under that uh, dark branch out there, what are you gonna use that as? Is that your whole point? Is that, uh, it's not where you're looking, you're looking further back, but where, what are you gonna do with that spot? Right, that, what I do now and what uh, I want you folks to, to learn to do is when that bird first comes out from where we're seeing it, it's kind of a flash. You know, and everybody asks Bill, you know, well, how do I know where my hold point needs to be? Well, as you watch that target through its flight, as he comes out and changes from that flash or blur, your eyes are gonna focus on that bird. You want your hands just a little beyond where your eyes really locked onto that target. And that's where my eyes really focused on that bird. And then it give me, with them dark spots on the trees, I can be very, very consistent in where I'm starting my hands. So that dark spot, you're gonna find your line there. Right. Okay. Right. So you don't have to come up or down. You don't want to come down to a bird. No. You'd rather come up to it. Exactly. Right. Yeah, and you want to be as close to his line as you can without being higher. Okay. Well, why don't we shoot one? All right. Okay. Once again, I'm going to talk about the hands. Eyes are the most important. Whole point, got to know where you're starting your hands in case the bird rushes you you'll know where to adjust out from. If you feel like you've waited too long on the target, you've got a, a point to start from to adjust in. Very important, know where you start your hands. Look for the bird in the same place every time. It'll help make you a whole lot more consistent. Pull. There, now that whole point felt very good. So now I've established that where my hands need to be, I can do that over and over and over. Looking in the same place every time, that target should feel the same to me every time. So let's shoot another one with the eye cam and see how that looks. Okay. Pull. Okay, now what I'm gonna do like I said, we've established our hold point where we're gonna start our hands and where we're gonna look for the target. But what you gotta remember, it's very important to remember where you started your hands. Pick something that you can set your hands or your gun. When I say hands, I'm referring to my gun. Very, very important because if we set up there and you holler pull and the target comes out and really makes you feel rushed. Okay, I'm not gonna set up there again.